In 2021, satellite photos confirmed a nearly decade-old rumor. Ancient Chinese Shenyang J-6 and J-7 fighters are now buzzing in the airspace near Taiwan. Once the frontline defenders of China's skies in the 1950s and 60s, the Shenyang J-6 and J-7 protected China back when its military was a nascent and predominantly ground-based force. Now, these old ghosts have apparently risen without any pilots. Reaching speeds nearing Mach 2, they are some of the fastest drones ever seen. Combining old-world engineering with state-of-the-art automation, these drones are being called a direct challenge to the U.S. and its allies by military analysts. Many suspect China desires to turn the drones into powerful missile platforms and has even deadlier missions in mind for the planes. At Dark Tech, our passion for warfare history drives us to hunt for gaming experiences that honor real battles and pivotal moments. That's why we're thrilled to introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, Enlisted, a breathtaking World War II multiplayer shooter. Frustrated with World War II games that sidestep authenticity for Flash? Dive into Enlisted. Every uniform, vehicle, and location mirrors its historical counterpart. Your arsenal isn't just for show, it is meticulously recreated to capture the raw essence of World War II, a level of detail few games can boast. Enlisted doesn't just spotlight iconic campaigns like the Battle for Moscow or the Invasion of Normandy. It also plunges you into immersive first-person shooter action, pitting you against cunning AI or real-world opponents. In strategy enthusiasts, Enlisted has you covered. Craft your squad, mold them into a formidable force, and lead them with calculated precision. Here's the best part. Experience all of this for free on PC, PlayStation, or Xbox, as well as PS4 and Xbox One, with cross-platform support. Use our link below to sign up and snag a bonus pack brimming with exclusive weapons, elite soldiers, and a premium account. Ready to make history? We'll meet you on the front lines. The Shenyang J-6 aircraft marked China's first foray into supersonic fighter jet production. Manufactured by the Shenyang Aircraft Corporation, the type was a licensed copy of the Soviet Union's MiG-19, acquired by China in the late 1950s with the aim of domestic production. Beginning production in 1962, the model emerged as the world's first mass-produced supersonic aircraft, with over 4,500 J-6s being built throughout the years. With its distinctive delta-wing configuration, sharp leading edges, and swept-back trailing edge, the J-6 showcased remarkable maneuverability. Equipped with two 30mm cannons and the ability to carry air-to-air -air missiles and ground attack weapons, the model proved its worth in historic Cold War conflicts such as the Sino-Indian War and the Vietnam War. As technology advanced, the J-6 gradually faded from frontline service, retiring from the People's Liberation Army Air Force in the late 1990s. Almost simultaneously, the Chengdu J-7, reverse-engineered from the iconic Soviet MiG-21, emerged as the J-6's direct successor. The J-7 showcased an updated and more streamlined airframe, incorporating advanced avionics and improved aerodynamics, addressing the new requirements of the time. Beginning production in 1965, but reaching its peak in the 1980s, the Chengdu J-7 would form the mainstay of Chinese aerial warfare capabilities for almost 30 years, with more than 2,400 models built. Today, with more modern aircraft on the front lines, the J-6 and J-7 are referred to as Grandpa Jets, an endearing nickname from Chinese culture used as a sign of respect for the elderly and figures of authority. However, these two models may soon find a new role within the People's Liberation Army Air Force. According to the Pentagon, China, now the world's third largest aviation force, has almost 400 J-7s left in use. While the Chinese Air Force was set to retire the fleet in 2023, according to state-run newspapers, there are signs that the Chinese government is on the verge of converting the model and its predecessor into drones. Satellite photos captured two Shenyang J-6s at undisclosed airbases along the country's east coast, generating a buzz of speculation about China's intent and military capabilities. These were further fueled when the People's Liberation Army's Eastern Theater Command showcased J-6 drones on its Weibo social media account during a ceremony in 2021. The photographs, though digitally altered to obscure the identity of the training brigade and the five-digit serial numbers that would reveal the aircraft's assigned unit, shed light on China's intriguing project. Reports like these have circulated since 2013, 
suggesting that China has repurposed these aging grandpa aircraft into unmanned drones. However, the proximity of the undisclosed airbases to Taiwan raises questions about China's intentions and the potential implications for regional security. For weeks, China has sent warships, bombers, fighter jets, and support aircraft into airspace near Taiwan on a near-daily basis, hoping to wear down the island's limited defense resources and undercut support for pro-independence president Tsai Ing-wen. In the midst of this activity, according to the satellite images, are J-6s and J-7s. The potential of converting the models that were once the backbone of mainland China's air power into combat drones has captured the imagination of experts and analysts. The J-6 drones could serve as a cost-effective solution for overwhelming adversary air defenses through sheer number superiority. With their fighter-like appearance, these unmanned aircraft can trigger radar systems and prompt foreign air forces to assign resources to intercept them, diverting attention away from more critical missions. Armed with air-to-air -air missiles or air-to-ground munitions, the J-6 drones could also carry out one-way missions, delivering a powerful blow against heavily defended targets without compromising a single life on the Chinese side. In the case of the J-7, the possibilities are even more intriguing. Manned fighters, destined for high-speed maneuvers, offer a level of performance superior to even the fanciest purpose-built drones. A J-7 converted into a drone could travel at almost Mach 2, outpacing existing combat drones by a wide margin. This speed advantage could provide China with a significant edge on the battlefield, challenging adversaries and potentially reshaping air superiority dynamics. While the potential of converting these old jets into drones is captivating, there are several factors that need to be considered. Supersonic drones, especially unmanned combat air vehicles, are still in their infancy. Questions arise about the feasibility of executing high-speed maneuvers without a human pilot in the cockpit and the limited situational awareness of the unmanned platform. Additionally, the maintenance requirements of old combat jets, including the J-7 with its known design issues, cannot be ignored. Manned fighters demand extensive upkeep, and although spare parts could be obtained by cannibalizing the converted drones, it remains to be seen if the cost-effectiveness and reliability of mass-producing cheaper but less capable drone swarms outweigh the benefits of repurposing old jets, like the J-6 and J-7 photos seem to suggest. China's exploration of potentially converting the J-6 and J-7 jets into unmanned drones follows a path that bears some resemblance to the United States Air Force's QF-16 program. This American initiative involves the conversion of aging F-16 Fighting Falcon variants into unmanned aerial vehicles. Initially, the Air Force employed F-4 Phantoms for training purposes, but later shifted to the F-16 due to a shortage of units. The refurbishment process entails the removal of unnecessary components and the integration of cutting-edge technologies, such as flight control computers and advanced autopilots, giving rise to the acronym QF. The first QF-16 drone was successfully converted in 2013, and subsequent tests showcased their surprising agility. These drones effortlessly executed sharp maneuvers, withstanding forces of up to 7 Gs, and exhibited the capability to soar to altitudes of 40,000 feet, achieving a remarkable top speed of 1,118 miles per hour. However, a distinct disparity emerges when comparing the repurposed American fighters to the Chinese approach. The converted QF-16s are primarily deployed for simulating real-world air combat scenarios and serving as targets for practice, allowing pilots to hone their skills in the face of modern aerial threats. This invaluable training opportunity fosters proficiency and adaptability among the pilots. As for China's interest in adapting the J-6 and J-7 jets into drones, the official confirmation is yet to materialize. Nevertheless, in the context of Taiwan, the prospect of these drone adaptations assumes even greater significance. The proximity of the reported sightings near Taiwanese airspace gives rise to questions concerning China's intentions and the consequential implications for regional security. Only time will reveal whether China's plans to convert the J-6 and J-7 into drones will come to fruition, and the consequences this will bring. Big salute to Enlisted for power in today's episode. Seize their special offer and immerse yourself in one of the most historically rooted World War II games out there. Support our channel and stand shoulder to shoulder with us in battle.
enlist now using the link below.